There they are. And this group of parents originally started, I think, with 12 or 13 little ducklings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think she's managed to maintain all of them. She and he, of course, they are multi-parents. They are very good at raising their children in an equal home. Unfortunately, this home has not managed to be safe enough for all of them. And I suspect one or two, when they were probably slightly smaller, or even this size, have fallen prey to that giant monitor lizard that walks between twin dams and this, the Vuyatela Dam. So how many have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Just six left. 50% hmm? return. No, seven. Just under a 50% return. So that's probably not too bad if you're a white-faced whistling duck. Of course, if you're a human being, that would be a very poor return. That's why they have so many youngsters, of course, because the travails of trying to raise a uh, duck in this particular environment, well, very difficult and deal. Very many travails they must... Um, does one pass over a travail, experience a travail? Anyway, there are many of them. Is that another one that's just come in? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, same one. And we also had a fish eagle here yesterday. They, too, will eat little ducklings. And these ducklings, when they were very small, they used to hide under the water. So as soon as a threat came past, which included us, they would duck under the water and just stick their little beaks up. So all you would see was a little beak sticking up out of the water, allowing them to breathe. It was a rather clever way of staying out of trouble. And I've often thought to myself, as you look at a family like this, you think of the, fa the trauma that families go through in the human world when there is a loss either to a parent but especially to a child obviously there is no greater loss that a human being can experience and yet it happens out here all the time and one cannot help but wonder is there a sense of bereavement like there would be uh, for a human being does there some sense of it for the birds well you know if you're going to hatch 12 or 14 eggs well probably less than one less than 10 percent of them are going to make it through to adulthood and likewise an impala when you give birth when they give birth 50 percent of those little lambs will be killed during the course of a year and i often wonder uh, do they feel a sense of bereavement and often they will watch their youngsters being killed and because they do not have expressive faces, they don't have voices that are able to give vent to any sense of emotion that they might be feeling, we just don't know. We're unable to tell if they feel a sense of sadness, bereavement. And I often wonder whether they do or not. And certainly if we've, those of you who've got dogs and cats, which I think are most people who watch this show, Certainly you know that they have emotion, you know that they feel sad and depressed, so I don't suppose it would be any different for an impala. For a duck? I don't know. Now, Stanley, you're wondering how do I know that this is a single family of ducks? Well, Stanley, you can see the two parents, they've got their white faces, the others are all immature, they don't have white faces yet. We know that they're a single family because we've watched them from when they were very, very tiny. And they used to live down about five kilometers away from here in the twin dams that's where they were born tiny little things that they were and uh, it's very unlikely that young immatures that were not from the same clutch would come together like this with two parents so while i would hesitate to put my head on a block uh, to say this i'm 99.99 percent sure that this is one clutch of eggs that is hatched to these two rather magnificent white-faced whistling ducks here. <laughs>